What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and I'm just here because I want to talk to you a little bit and we're going to play some Marvel Heroes, don't worry. But basically, you know, I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what the channel is going to be about going forward. So I am going to have a channel trailer, it'll explain it in more detail and I think be really clear on it hopefully. But just to show you, I made a favorites list of some of the games I'd like to focus on. So we have Marvel and DC related games and then we have the darkness up there as well. And I do include Star Wars, at least Knights of the Old Republic in that, as well as Galaxy of Heroes. So what I was thinking is, it would be pretty cool to play Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 all the way through. So do complete gameplays of those. And it's been a long time since I played them, and they're some of my favorite games of all time. So I think that could be pretty awesome. Then of course we have games like Marvel Puzzle Quest. And I took a long break from it, but I have returned. We still have quite a few characters though, so don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Then we also have Marvel Heroes 2016. And I've seen a lot of requests of this game. Well guys, of course I play it. I have videos up of it. I even streamed it. I have a ton of level 60s. So I'm definitely going to make videos on it as well. Same thing goes for some of the LEGO games. I think they're a lot of fun and pretty funny also. So we're going to cover those and even new ones. You know, as they come out. And even as far as a non-Marvel or DC comic, hey, we have The Darkness too. Now, that's the only one I have for PC, the other one I have on console. But I'm just saying it's an option. And then, of course, we have some of the Batman games on PC, and a few on console too. So yeah, these are just a few of the options, and some of the games we're going to be playing going forward. And basically what I want to say is, the channel is kind of going to be titled Comic Book Gamer. So instead of an MAA Gamer... I'm just going to kind of change that to comic book gamer in general. And what I mean by that is I'm going to play mostly Marvel, DC, and I guess Image or Top Cow or whatever, if there happen to be any games like that. But that's going to be like 90% of the gameplay on my channel. It'll be comic book related games. Mainly Marvel, of course. Other than that, though, we will play some other games from time to time, especially fun new releases. And since I do love collectibles, and of course comic books, you know, from time to time, I'd like to put up some videos on maybe a new figure I got, or statue, or Funko Pop. Then also just talking about new comics, old comics, you know, pickups, maybe I went to a comic convention. But that's what I envision the channel being. And like I said, we're going to have an awesome trailer for that. So I'm working on it right now. I just wanted to give that quick update just to let you know I'm going to be on YouTube for a long time to come. And maybe as a comic book gamer channel, you know, hopefully you'll enjoy it. We can bring in new viewers and new subscribers, and the channel can grow stronger than ever. That's at least what I hope. But for this video, we're going to play a bit of Marvel Heroes. And so let's go ahead and get that started. I'm going to cut ahead till when we're in game, but I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with Squirrel Girl, of course. We do have her at level 58 right now. We have her aviator costume. We got Miles Morales as the team up. So I did want to finish getting her to level 60 if possible. I'm really not sure what she has left to do. Hmm. To be honest, I also forget how to play her because it's been quite a while. So I'm wondering if we finished the final chapter. I highly doubt we went here. But let me just check something out. Some really easy experience right here, so... We'll see if she already got it. I guess she would, though. She's at level 50. If she's at level 58, I'm sure she already got it. So I don't know where to go. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and try to finish this mission. I don't know. And we'll see if she needs to kill Loki or not. Let me just see something here. Okay. Squirrel Apocalypse. Death from the Trees. Yeah, I think we're alright. I don't know. I don't think it's too difficult to play her. When I first played her, I had her as like a really terrible build. And I was not having fun. Then once I focused on the squirrels, she not only became a blast, she actually became pretty good. So I don't know what everyone thinks about Squirrel Girl, but... In game, I mean, I think everyone loves her outside of game. I mean, come on. She's unbeatable, you know. But in game, I don't know. I, I like her, though. 
So, I would think that everyone probably thinks she's decent. I don't really know anything about, you know, what's here each hero's in, but... I do know who's either easy to play with or not very tough. And every once in a while you get one of those not very tough characters. And it really is a chore to try to level them. It's much more difficult. I'm trying to think of who my last one was like that. Um, I don't know if it would be Moon Knight. It was definitely a melee character. And they were just a pain. It might not be Moon Knight, because he might be one of the best characters in the game. I can't remember. But it was someone I thought I'd like. And then they just did not hit hard at all. Maybe... Hmm. I wonder if Black Cat was a pain. I don't know. I'm probably confusing them, so let me just stop. It was a while back. My point is, basically, then you get someone like Ultron or, you know, Green Goblin, but especially someone like Ultron. And they're just a complete joy to level, and they're super easy and fast level on top of that. So just a stark contrast between them and some of the weaker characters. That's not to say that they all can't be good if you geared them right. But leveling them up, you know, you don't usually have their top end stuff. I definitely don't. Okay, I do fully think we beat everything, so. The only way to get her to 60 would be to... Well, not the only way. We could, of course, do... We could, of course, do legendary quests and so on. But, I don't know. I just typically would go to maybe somewhere like Midtown. Or Industry City Patrol. I don't know how fun that's going to be, though. So, maybe what I'll do is, I'll show you some of my characters. And we'll see who all needs leveled. Like Angela, for example. And then maybe we'll do, like, a complete level through of them. Oh, there's Cable. He's at 58, too. We have some awesome costumes for some people, like Captain Marvel's. Green Goblin, I really love him. He's just a lot of fun. We, of course, have the Kurth costume. We have a Scroll Psylocke. Iron Spider. And then we have a Symbiote Wolverine. Oh, and we actually had Symbiote Rocket. I don't know how I skipped over that. So he's right there. We don't have a lot of characters left to level. At least not very far. We do have a few. So Kitty Pride, Angela. To be honest with you, I kind of want to pull Angela out right now. Hmm. Okay, well hey, Luke Cage. In honor of his Netflix series. Let's go ahead and pull him out. Press R to activate. Okay. There's some stuff in this game that, since I haven't played for a little while, I wasn't even aware of. So this is definitely going to help out. Just hold down R and Luke Cage is running super fast. Alright, sounds pretty good. Now if we could just figure out where we need to go. He's probably past this point, but we'll still check it out. Usually when I sit down and level someone, I go the entire way. And it's just a lot easier that way. You don't have to worry about where did I leave off? You know, what did I do last? And by the way, something really cool about him you know, at least mine, besides his awesome suit. We got Throg here. And then his team up is going to be Captain America. 
It's a pretty cool thing. Now it does appear we already did that, so we're going to go back, go to Xavier School, and it may be time to move on, to be honest. I'm going to the Shield Helicarrier, I don't know. I should have kept him leveling, it's definitely my fault. You can easily sit down and just in one playthrough get someone from 1 to 60. Now it gets much easier the more other characters you have because it's going to increase your XP bonus. And then there are certain characters like I think it's Cyclops that increases XP. So I mean it just keeps getting easier the more times you do it. And that's pretty nice you know that they do kind of reward you. You don't want to take the same length of time on every single character. If you've played the game through a lot you know. So I do definitely appreciate that. Once again, after not playing for a while, you definitely forget what you're doing. So I'm just hoping that this works out. And typically, I do just run around and try to get the quest completed. Because that's what gives you the real XP. You don't have to kill every minion. If you want to, you can. You can completely clear them out, but you don't really need to do that. So we're just going to take down Doc Ock and move on. Typically the wizard is next. If you do kill some of these people that are talking and so on, then you'll get the yellow bonus orbs. So I mean, you know, you can do that. A lot of times I just leave those back there, but you know, if you want to get every bit of XP, then feel free. You'll get it plenty fast, though. That's all I'm saying. Check out all the heroes for hire, by the way. He has a pretty cool signature. It's Heroes Call. Allies are summoned. So you basically call in multiple heroes for hire, and they just go off on your targets. Or just really anyone around. That's one cool thing about this is, you know, between your team up, some of the people that uh, certain characters can call in, there's a lot of fighting going on without you, which I enjoy because I guess I'm lazy, but um, you know, I definitely appreciate it. Comes in really handy. Just to smash a few more of these things. And the final opponent is going to be Modok. Now to be honest with you, I really didn't want to make a super long video today, so we're just going to fight Modok and... Now with that intro, just kind of letting you know what's going on because I didn't want to wait too long to update you. Because there's a lot of people, even though I have said it many times, there are still a lot of individuals that think I'm quitting YouTube. I'm not quitting. You don't have to unsubscribe. In fact, even if you're not going to watch videos, if you don't unsubscribe, I'd be so grateful. Like if you ever want to, you know, say thank you for any videos I made just keep your subscription I'm trying to get to a certain milestone first of all I already said I do something really special at 50k we're never gonna get there if everyone just keeps unsubscribing 
And I'd love to maybe even one day get 100k. And that way you do get a silver play button. I mean, if that happened, I mean, I think I could die a happy man. That would be such a huge deal for me, honestly. And losing hundreds of subs, you know, it really hurts. So far, I'm down quite a few. I wish they'd come back, but um, I do understand that, that may not happen. And it kind of makes me sad, I'll be honest. Because when you, you know, when you work really hard to get all those subs, and then you just lose them, really, for something outside of your own control, it just sucks. I mean, there's no other way to put it. So yeah, guys, I'm not quitting YouTube. I don't know how much more clear I can make that. I'm not quitting. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to focus on comic games, comic related stuff. So I think most of you enjoy that type of content, just like me. And, you know, even if you don't like a certain game, say you don't like Marvel Heroes or you don't like Star Wars, there will be other games, I promise you that. And if there ever is like an MAA reboot or anything similar to that, we'll be playing that too. So the channel's going to keep going. If everyone quits watching though, then you know I can't keep making videos if I'm the only one who watches. So that's the only thing, just keep watching. Even if you only stop back sometimes. It truly does mean a lot to me. It's going to help keep the channel going. So if there is another MAA, or a DC version, or just something really similar like that, I'll be ready. The channel will still be going relatively strong and we'll have that community ready to go. I think that's going to be really important because the game's going to need backing. If it gets a big following, the channel could get huge and the game could last for way longer than Marvel Avengers Lions did. And honestly, that would be perfect. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, just wanted to give you a little bit of gameplay of Marvel Heroes. Let you know what we're doing in the future and just kind of communicate with you as best as I can. As I wrap this one up, I do want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. For those who are on this video, you're awesome. I honestly call you friends, not fans. So once again, thank you. If you can, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out. And we will finish leveling Luke Cage next time. But for now, that's it. So until next time, good luck and take care.